Yeah, I'm back. It's NF time, baby. I'm so excited. I love NF. Okay, so many of you requested intro three. So I'm going to do intro three because that was the one that I saw the most. Okay, I'm just telling you that there's a, a reason to this madness. I know there's an intro and there's an intro two, but everyone kept saying intro three. So that's why we're doing this one because everyone was saying it. So don't get mad at me. Okay, let's do it. I'm really perfect. Someone also said to listen to Mansion before. I didn't, but I have listened to Mansion maybe 300 times in the past. What are you weeks, scared so of me? It's embarrassing. If it wasn't for me, you would have never wrote therapy. I've been here for you, but I come in never there for me. It's a little bit twisted, but I miss when you and I had scary dreams. I don't really want to talk about it. Well, it's too bad now, Nate. Shut up. Now, where were we? Well, back in the day when you and I had it all mapped out in the basement, crying in your room like a baby. I wish mom was here. We all do, so we wouldn't have to hear about it. Every single record, you don't really want to change me. Yeah, I'm the one that made this happen. Do you really want to get rid of your main attraction? Let's pack our bags and go back to Gladwin now. Yeah, it's time for the third record, and you know I got the content. I don't want to make you nervous. But it ain't like it used to be. We got a lot of people watching. You told me that you don't want me in your life. That's pretty hard to digest. And I told you I leave when we die. And we ain't died yet. Okay, he's got to be arguing with fear, right? And he's like, I made you. I push you forward. I hear this so much with my clients. My clients are like, who would I be if I wasn't afraid? Because my fear, my anxiety drives me to do things. And his fear is like getting angry that he's like becoming less afraid <laughs> spicy. A spice, a spice. okay mama mia that's a spicy meatball therapy session was beautiful nate but i'm wondering what's coming next yeah get that stupid head off of your head when i'm talking to you you hear what i said you don't like the prison i built you built you yeah, you want to know what the funny thing is you keep on talking to me like a stranger but we've been together since you were a kid yeah, yeah. took this from a no name told you everything was okay now you trying to come me out of it like i ain't never been a part of it i ain't the heart of it i made this whole thing yeah put us on the dope stage you must have no brain what's the point of having guns if you can't aim can't what's the point of having blood with no veins no what's the point of having love with no pain, no pain. what i'm saying is this is so powerful because like so much of nf success has come from speaking about his pain the pain is coming back and being like who do you think you're gonna be without me pain is what made you pain is what made people connect to your music so now you're trying to get rid of me it's so freaking good oh my god I'm saying it's me without you doesn't make any sense. I know I'm intense and controlling, but you need to learn how to cope with it. That's just the way that it is. If you didn't want me to live in your house, you shouldn't have let me. Ah, fear! Ah! Ah! What's that letter mansion? Oh my gosh, I don't want to mess it up. Mansion. The, the, but I'm not the only one that lives here. Fear. Ah! And I let him in. Maybe that's me or the fear talking. But I'm not the only thing that's living here. Fear came into my house years ago. I let him in. Maybe that's the problem because I've been dealing with it ever since. Ah! Yeah, it's comfortable here. I like it. I got my own room and everything. Why would I want to leave? This is my house now. I live here. Wake up and take your own advice. She's just mad because you know I'm right. Yeah, I'm flattered you put me in mansion, but you should have told him right. Put your hands on the coldest night. You didn't tell him about the times you and I used to hold the mic. I mean, what are you out of your mind? Guess both of us will be. Come on, let's go outside. Is this what you wanted? Both of us out in the open. Let's do it then. I mean, why are you doing this? I know that you're mad, but I'm not in the mood for this. We got to work at the drop. So why you acting like I'm not a part of it? Hey, where's my shovel at? Probably out back where it always is. You can't get rid of all of me. in order to do that i have to open the doors and then me and the fear talking i don't know anymore <laughs> insidious is fun inception what's reality with all these questions it's like i missed my alarm and slept in slept in <laughs> i mean it's like my favorite song ever <laughs> i'm so glad you guys showed it to me thank you okay this is so interesting i just love the way he personifies 
the different parts of himself. That is such a therapy thing. And it's really helpful to do that because then when you personify it as a part of you instead of the entirety of you, it gives you the power to do exactly what he is doing here, which is have a dialogue with it and talk back and forth between it and understand it and get curious about it and ask it questions and learn about it. And it like gets its own set of little characteristics. Yeah, we died, right? Yeah, ain't that the slogan, Nathan? Thought I told you to keep your mouth shut. I mean, so what? You know I never listen. Let me guess. We gonna dig a hole, kill a track, and probably put a beat in it. Rap about it for like three minutes. Hey, that's pretty deep, isn't it? Wait a minute, you don't really think for a second that you're putting me in this? No, of course not. Just a little deeper, then we'll go inside and we can stop digging. Oh my God, he's he's digging a grave for the fear. He's digging a grave for the fear, and the fear's like, oh, what are you gonna put in this? And then he's like, oh, I I would I would never I would I would never put you in there, man. Like I wanna put you in there, but let's just keep digging. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Let me scare for a second. I thought we were digging my grave. We did. What you don't like being afraid? It's a dose of your own medicine. What, you don't like hot taste? My therapist told me don't bury my issues, but I'm gonna be honest, man, I'm feeling great. That is brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh my gosh. He talks back to the viewer, he's like, yeah, we, we did dig your own grave. How does it feel to be afraid? Oh, you don't like being scared? Yeah, me neither. This is so good. I think it's only right we go back to where you were created I wrote a song for Johnny without you, but he ain't gonna like it Let's see how he takes it, takes it. He probably don't even remember us, does he? I wish I was burying anger, but both of us know I'ma need him for that song, that song. He still lives in a basement Almost done, should've done this a year ago I don't know why I waited, you know how I get I put everything off in my personal life, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> That was a joke. Yeah, it's hilarious, ain't it? You'll spend the rest of your life in my backyard or back of my mind. Depends how you see it. Put the shovel away. Time to go back in the house now. You'll be out in a week. Telling me you want your room back. That's funny, but you ain't got nowhere to sleep. I'ma just look out the window and laugh at you. This is crazy to me, cause I thought you had me in prison this whole time. But I'm the one holding the keys. He's like... I actually have the keys. I actually have more control. I actually am in charge. I thought that fear was in charge of my pain, of my progress. But I actually realized that I have the keys, that I'm in charge. This is so powerful. This is so powerful. This is so... I'm about to lose my freaking mind. Okay, here's the sauce, you guys. Here's the deal. Is that... Fear's biggest tactic in convincing you to remain afraid is to tell you that the things that you have, you would not have gotten without fear. I see this a lot, especially with my clients who are super high functioning and have super high anxiety. They get all of their tasks done, not out of joy, but out of fear of what might happen if they won't. And so that makes them very high functioning members of society and often makes them very successful. And they believe that the reason they are successful is because they are afraid. And that's not true. The reason they are successful is because of the actions they do based on their fear. But you can get the same action result with a different route. So if the, the anxiety and fear is telling you like, you are only successful. You only got this promotion because you worked hard. And the only reason you worked hard is because you're afraid. That is your fear telling you that it is that the action is only possible with this negative emotion as the root. And this song is so powerful because it points to an alternative. It's saying, I thought you held the keys. I thought you were the one that was in control of me and my success and my journey. But I realized that actually it was me and my action that was in control. I actually held the keys the whole time. And I was allowing you to be the determiner of my action. But actually, my action can be fueled by passion. If it is the action that got me there, then what inspires the action doesn't can change. So we have to learn to separate the fear from what our fear often makes us do. In this case, NF's fear made him write really vulnerable music music that people could connect to. 
But fear and pain isn't the only way to connect with people. And also feeling those deep emotions continuously isn't the only way to write powerful music. And if Nathan can tap into his past feelings out of care for others instead of out of current pain for himself. And so fear will try to convince us that we need to remain afraid in perpetuity in order to continue acting in a way that will lead to success. What the fear is actually trying to do is just trying to hold on to control. And when you listen to this song, you can remember that you have the keys. Fear will try to convince you that it is necessary so that it can stay in a room in your house. But this song reminds us that if you hold the key and your action is the key to who you become and what you are, then you can evict fear and kick it the heck out of your house, baby. You can kick it out of your house because you got the key and you are the key. I love this song. I love that enough. Oh my God. So in the, I did mansion before. So if you want to listen to mansion, that one is genuinely now one of my favorite songs of all time. It's probably going to be my Spotify top listen to song this year. Check it out. And if you like NF, I bet you'll like Ren. So Check out this journey that we did with Ren. We invited Levi the Poet to create something. I think it's pretty magical. Have a good day.